and you got Lamar Jackson to the Ravens. I know you have been raving about Lamar every time I've done any hits with you on NFL Network and your previous um, appearances here on this show and then off the air, too. I mean, you have been you have been uh, equally raving about Lamar Jackson. What makes you think the Ravens would go in this direction tonight? I think a lot of it depends on what's on their board at 16. I, I think you're looking at Joe Flacco, uh, who since the Super Bowl win, got a big payday, and his production hasn't been commensurate with the payday. Uh, after this season, they could trade him or get out of his contract for very little compared to where they are today with that contract. Um, and they've got a backup quarterback, Rich, by the name of Robert Griffin who could also play the same offense as Lamar Jackson. I look at New, the New Orleans Saints at 27, and they've got Drew Brees, who's, what, 39 years old. Sean Payton is a creative dude, and they have a backup quarterback by the name of Taysom Hill, who was out of BYU, and he ran 4-4, and he's running down under kickoff. Yeah, I saw that. That was great that past year. That was and great. let me tell you something. If they, if they could move up, or if, if Lamar Jackson fell to them at 27, a guy like Sean Payton with his creativity. So what I'm trying to do is connect dots. And because Baltimore has RG3 and because they have Taysom Hill, what defensive coordinators say all the time is, A, I don't want to face any of those kind of guys. And, B, the downside to all that is they're going to get hurt sooner or later, so you better have two of them. Hmm. And I think and that, Baltimore yeah. and New Orleans both have two of them. Do you have any dots you can connect uh, the Patriots to him? What do you think of that idea, Lamar well, and the Patriots? I don't have I don't I don't have the dots, but they have the aging quarterback, obviously, and I think Bill Belichick is one of the most outside the box thinkers in the history of the NFL. So he's got two picks in the first round and five in the first hundred, and I have absolutely no idea what direction he's going to go. All I would tell you is that it's pretty obvious looking at his roster. He's got two donuts at left tackle and at backup quarterback slash heir apparent. So I'm fascinated to find out what direction Bill Belichick is going to go. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.